Welcome to Electron Online. In this example, we're combining several things that we need to be careful of. Here we have two inequality symbols. One of them has an equal sign attached to it. There's a decimal, a negative, all kinds of things. So how do we start on something like that? Well, the first thing we want to do is isolate the four right here. We want to get rid of the four and isolate that. So let's go ahead and move the four over, or in other words, to get rid of the 4, we can subtract the 4 from here, but we have to do the same here, and we have to do the same over here. So that becomes as follows. 4, I'm leaving some space, minus 0.2x, and then we have a plus 4 here, and then greater than negative 2. You may say, well, why didn't I get rid of the, uh, the decimal place first? We could do that, but again, it's nice to have the x isolated in the middle, and so it's not a bad idea to go ahead and subtract the 4 from here, subtract the 4 from here, and subtract the 4 from there. It really doesn't matter. That's our cat trying to scratch the box over there. Anyway, it doesn't matter if you do the one thing first or the other thing first. It really is the same thing. All right, now we can see here that we end up with a 0 greater than or equal to a negative 0.2x. The 4's cancel out, greater than negative 2, negative 4 is a negative 6. Now let's go ahead and get rid of the decimal. We can do so by multiplying everything by 10, or since we have 0.2, it's sufficient to multiply everything by a 5. And then since we have a negative here, we probably want to multiply by a negative 5. Of course, when we multiply by a negative number, we're going to have to flip the inequality symbols. So on the left side, we have 0. Here we have negative 0.2x, I'll put parentheses around it. Here we have a negative 6, and we're going to multiply everything by a negative 5. So we're going to multiply this by negative 5, we're going to multiply this by negative 5, and we're going to multiply this by negative 5. And of course, when we do that, the inequality symbols turn around, so this becomes instead of greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, greater than turns into less than. Remember, you multiply or divide by a negative number, all those inequality signs need to flip over. All right, now we're ready to continue. 0 times negative 5 is still 0, less than or equal to. Negative 5 times a 0.2, that becomes a plus x, and negative 6 times a negative 5 is a positive 30. And that in itself is our solution. All values that are greater than or equal to 0 and at the same time, less than 30. Graphically, we can write it like this. We have 0 on this side, we have 30 on this side. 0 is included, so I have a solid circle. Here I have a hollow circle, and all the points in between as a solution to that inequality. Of course, we could do a quick check. We can pick a point somewhere in between, so let's check. Let's set x equals to 10, which is one of the points in between, and plug that in here and see what we get. So end up at 4, greater than or equal to question mark, negative 0 0.2 times 10, plus 4, and then greater than question mark, negative 2. Working this out, that would be a negative 2 plus 4, that's a positive 2, so is 4 greater than or equal to 2, which is greater than negative 2, question marks. And the answer is, sure enough, 2 is less than 4, and 2 is greater than negative 2. So that checks. I picked a random point from the range of points that satisfies inequality, and it looks like we got the right range. And that is how it's done.